Welcome to the Maths Made Easy tutorial on standard form. This is the second video on this topic. Uh, so if you've not seen the first one, then I recommend you check that out first uh, because we go through the basics of standard form in that video. Uh, but we'll start off in this one by looking at writing large numbers in standard form. So if we just remind ourselves standard form is a times 10 to the power n and a can be between one and 10, uh, but not including 10. So it can include one. So we have to write 56 million 700,000 in standard form. Uh, so let's put a point zero on the end here because this is going to be useful to us. So first of all, we want to find out our value for A. Now A has to be between one and 10. Uh, so A is going to have to be 5.67 here. And now we just need to work out how many places we've moved the decimal place. So we've moved it one, two, three, four, five, six, seven places here. Uh, so that means our power of 10 or n is equal to 7. So we're left with 5.67 times 10 to the 7. So that is equal to 56,700,000. So if we move on to another example now, this time we're looking at writing a very small number in standard form. Let's just remind ourselves of the a times 10 to the power n. Uh, so we're looking for a being between 1 and 10, so not including 10. So here we've got 0 0.00000099. We want to write this in standard form. So let's just rewrite it out. 0 0.0000099. Uh, so uh, we want to write this in standard form. So our value for A, first of all, is going to have to be 9.9, .9, seeing as though that is the only way we can get this between 1 and 10. So now we just have to work out how far we've moved the decimal place. And we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 spaces here to move the decimal point between the two nines. So that's six spaces, so that means our power of 10 is going to have to have a six in it. So in other words, n equals, it's not going to be six though, it's going to be minus six uh, because we're moving the decimal place to the right here rather than the left. So our value in standard form is 9.9 .9 times 10 to the minus six. Now standard form is an important skill, so it's important that you get a lot of practice. And you can do so with our online exam, which is available through our revision platform if you take the test, you'll find loads of different questions to have a go at. There's a variety of different question types and you get instant feedback on each and every one of them. So it's a good way of keeping track of where you're going wrong and what your strengths are, what your weaknesses are and how you can improve. So if this is something you're interested in, you should click the link below and it will take you straight there.